This is Coogan Cassius for Rifle Number at the Magnus Centre here in Rotherham for the Mick Hennessy Show. Uh, Kid Garhead versus Jezza Dickens. Fight on the bill, Jordan Gill. Another win for you. Another win, my seventh one. Against Dan Carr. Pleased with the performance? Um, yeah, I was pleased with the performance. Um, I walk around about nine, seven, nine, nine and a half stone in there. John said to me he's going to come in about ten stone, so I went a bit mad with food and I was eating and eating and in, in the ring. I felt a little bit heavy, but. Um, Felt all right. In the first round, I, I hit with a jab and I hit with a right hook over the top and uh, down the top of my thumb, so I just kept off my jab the whole fight and uh, made easy work of it. Mm. What did your trainer say to you after the fight? How did they think you performed today? Yeah, it said it looked all right, you know. Um, each fight each fight I have, you see progression. Um, I'm only young, turned pro on my 18th birthday. Uh, so you feel me on um, Kell Brook events, yep. uh, Carson Jones. So uh, each fight is see progression. I've had a few fights on the Pete Rose shows, one in Hull, one down in Blue Water, selling tickets all over the place. So um, I'm doing well. Keep on, keep on going and uh, getting the wins. So you're pleased with the way you've progressed so far and in, in the time space that you've done it in? Definitely. Um, I just turned 19. Um, I'm inspiring kids like Lee Wood, who's uh, up there, top 10 in Britain at the moment. I've uh, got some brilliant sparring with uh, Kid Galahad. Uh, in the lead up to his fight with Jazza Dickens um, and obviously I had to switch southpaw for that as well so it's even better experience uh, building and go southpaw up in the orthodox um, just like I'm ready, ready for anything and get a couple of predictions from you first of all Dickens and Galahad, how's that going to go? I don't see it going, I don't, honestly Barry has been looking unbelievable the fitness test that he does every 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 single run he, he wants to be the best at everything he needs the best at everything and um, just unreal. He's been looking brilliant. His jab's accurate. He can switch orthodox southpaw. He's unbelievable. And um, I, th I don't think Jazza Dickens will come on strong. He'll ball in for the first four or five rounds. I think he'll be done after seven, and Barry will take him out in about nine or ten, if that. Okay. And a quick prediction on the big one. The one, as they call it, Mayweather and Canelo. I don't see um, Canelo causing many problems. I see him I see him cause a few problems. He, he's game, he's young and he's going to come in throw a lot of shots but um, I don't think there's anybody out there of uh, Mayweather's calibre and um, I think Canelo's going to wait too long, he's going to stand there a bit too long and get it picked off by Mayweather and I think it's going to be another unanimous decision for Mayweather. Okay. Liam Cameron has said that Canelo will beat Floyd tonight. I know, I've got a bet with him. Have you? <laughs> got a bet with a few people. <laughs> Got five of him, five of him, ten of him, but um, yeah, I'm not really a betting man, but I think my money's safe with this man. All right, we'll wait and see. All right, Jordan Gill, thank you very much for wife from London. Congratulations, and on to the next one. Definitely. Cheers, Coogie. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.